loose, I'm on the move. I got so much to prove. It's suicide to go after the soups. Hi and welcome to Select 10. In this video, we are going to count down our picks for top 10 best and new web series released in May and June 2022 on Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Disney Plus, and HBO Max. Navigating each streaming service library to pick a good series can be hard, as there is plenty of new shows releasing every month. But to make things easy for you, we have selected 10 new shows, there are sci-fi shows, fantasy shows, thriller shows, and more. So despite how tough the choices were, here are the 10 best new web series, which you should watch now. Number 10. First Kill. It is a brand new supernatural teen drama series, created by V.E. Schwab. The story follows Juliet, a teenage vampire, who needs to take her place among her powerful vampire family by making her first kill. While she sets her sights on a newcomer, Calliope, but is surprised to find out that Calliope is a member of a family of vampire hunters. Both vampire and hunter soon learns the other isn't so easy to kill, but far too easy to fall for. While falling in love is tricky for Juliet and Calliope, as one's a vampire, the other's a vampire hunter, and what makes it more interesting is that both are ready to make their first kill. It's been a long time since we saw a great vampire show, considering we have watched the originals in the Vampire Dairies. That being said, First Kill is an entertaining show, and if you are a fan of fantasy drama and want to see a weird but interesting vampire teen romance, then you will enjoy this show. Number 9. Intimacy. It is a Spanish political drama series created by Veronica Fernandez and Laura Sarmiento. The story follows Malin, a rising politician, whose career is threatened when a secretly recorded video of her sex life is leaked to the public, which not only puts her family in jeopardy, but her career. However, a sex tape of a Malin is the catalyst for this story that chronicles the lives of four women who are forced to tread the fine line between what belongs to public and private life. Within the well-crafted narrative, this political crime drama series deals with intimate image abuse, the role of privacy in the modern age, and forces us to think about the boundaries of our intimacy and what happens to our lives when our privacy becomes everyone's conversation. And currently this show has 6.1 rating on IMDb and not yet rated on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 8. The Orville. It is a space science fiction series created by Seth MacFarlane. The series is set 400 years in the future, where humanity has evolved to the point of space exploration and has developed intricate relationships with other space-faring species. Along with other highly advanced civilizations, Earth created a federated planetary union for the purposes of exploration, scientific development, colonization of new worlds, and defense. While the main plot follows the adventures of USS Orville, a mid-level exploratory spaceship, its crew, both human and alien, as they face the wonders and dangers of outer space while also dealing with the problems of everyday life. If you are a fan of space sci-fi or shows like Star Trek, then this one is for you. Also good news, the new third season first episode premiered on 2nd June, while remaining episodes will air weekly on Hulu and Disney+. And the show has 8 rating on IMDb, and season 3 has 78% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 7. Undone. It is an animated psychological comedy drama series created by Raphael Bob Waxberg and Kate Purdy. The story follows Alma, a 28-year-old who is having a series of very bad weeks, her routine is dull, but that's before she gets into a massive car crash and starts seeing a vision of her dead father and discovers that she has a new relationship with time and uses this ability to find out the truth about her father's death. Judging by the story concept, it is also a wild sci-fi drama story about a family torn apart by tragedy and grief and one of the few series that uses its unique visual style to create a dreamy feathery unreality where you can never trust a path ahead of you. Overall, Undone is a frequently pleasing and thought-provoking series, which you should definitely consider watching. Also good news, the second season premiered on 29th April 2022 and has 90% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. And the show has 8.2 rating on IMDb. Number 6. The Offer. It is a biographical drama miniseries about the development and production of Francis Ford Coppola gangster film, The Godfather, 1972. The Godfather is considered one of the greatest American movies ever made, but the story behind the making of the classic is the subject of this series. 
there have been a lot of stories about the making of The Godfather shared over the years. However, the offer is based on producer Albert S. Ruddy, never before seen experiences on making The Godfather. And you might have seen in the trailer, there's a lot going on during the making of The Godfather. Overall, this series will explore, producer Albert S. Ruddy never before revealed experiences of making The Godfather. And the series has 8.6 rating on IMDb and 96% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 5. Irma Vep. It is a thriller drama miniseries, written and directed by Olivier Assayas. It is based on his 1996 film of the same name. The story follows Mira, an American movie star, disillusioned by her career and a recent breakup, comes to France to star as Irma Vep in a remake of the French silent film classic, Les Vampires. The series is set against a backdrop of a lurid crime thriller, where Mira struggles as the distinctions between herself and the character she plays begin to blur and merge. Overall, the series reveals to us the uncertain ground that lies at the border of fiction and reality, artifice and authenticity, art and life. If you have not watched the movie yet, then I suggest you to watch the movie first, because that way, it will easy for you to connect with the series. And the show has 6.5 rating on IMDb and 73% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 4. The Essex Serpent. It is a 2022 gothic romance period drama miniseries, based on the novel of the same name by Sarah Perry. The series follows newly widowed Cora, who relocates from Victorian London to the small village of Aldwinter in Essex, where she is intrigued by a local superstition that a mythical creature known as the Essex Serpent has returned to the area. To investigate the reports of a mythical serpent, she forms a surprising bond of science and skepticism with the local priest, but when tragedy strikes, locals accuse Cora of attracting the creature. The Essex Serpent might seem at first like a classic Victorian Gothic tale, but the show themes and characters are firmly rooted in the dark myths and history of Essex. Overall, the show blends light pieces of horror with mystery and drama, which makes the show worth watching. And the show has 6.5 rating on IMDb and 81% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 3. The Boys. Finally the third season of most popular R-rated show is here, and the first three episodes are just mind-blowing. And if you are new to this show, let me give you little overview so you can start watching the show. It is a superhero series based on the comic book of the same name by Garth Ennis and Eric Robertson. The story follows a group of corrupt superheroes owned by a powerful corporation, Vaught International. With the main plot focusing on two groups, the boys, a group of vigilantes looking to keep the corrupted heroes under control, and the seven, Vaught International's superhero team. The boys are led by Billy Butcher, who hate all superpowered people, and the seven are led by the egotistical Homelander. But when the new member, Huey Campbell, joins the vigilantes after his girlfriend is killed in a high-speed collision by the Seven's Eight train, the boys head out on a heroic quest to expose the truth about the Seven and Vought, the multi-billion dollar company that manages the superheroes and covers up their dirty secrets. And the show has 8.7 rating on IMDb and season 3 has 96% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 2. Taxi Driver. It is a South Korean thriller drama series based on the webtoon, The Deluxe Taxi. The story follows Kim Doo Ji, a military academy graduate who has lived more honestly than anyone else. But when a serial killer murders his mother, he spends his days in agony, feeling wronged and broken. But his life changes when he meets Jang Sung Chul, who recruits him to work for his company, Rainbow Taxi. This company is not just an ordinary taxi company, Rainbow Taxi is a secret organization which offers a revenge call service to its clients who have been wronged and helps them take revenge. Here, Kim Doo Ji becomes a star driver who delivers satisfying revenge, on the other hand, a prosecutor who investigates Rainbow Taxi is furious with their lawless behavior. Between those who believe that revenge embodies true justice and those who pursue the outlaws, Kim Doo Ji seeks what justice truly means. Overall, the series has brilliant story and great action that keeps you hooked from the start. And it has 8 rating on IMDb. Number 1. Ms. Marvel. I was super excited for this show, and after watching the first episode, I can say, I am not disappointed, the show is much better than I expected. And for the ones who are new to this show. It is a superhero miniseries created by Bisha K. Ali for the streaming service Disney+. Plus. The story is based on the Marvel Comics character, Kamala Khan, who becomes Ms. Marvel. 
It is a seventh television series in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, sharing continuity with the films of the franchise. The series tells the origin story of Kamala Khan, a Muslim-American teenager growing up in Jersey City. Kamala is an avid gamer and a huge superhero fan with an oversized imagination, particularly when it comes to Captain Marvel. Yet Kamala feels like she doesn't fit in at school and sometimes even at home, but that is until she gets her own superpowers, like the heroes she's always looked up to. But her life gets upside down when evil threat arises. First episode premiered on 8 June 2022, and remaining episodes will air weekly on Disney+. Currently the show has 6.3 rating on IMDb, an 86% audience score, on Rotten Tomatoes. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel, to see more videos, related to movies and series suggestions.